Happy Friday, welcome to the weekend, and we are waking up to cloudy conditions, looking live from our Biscayne Bay camera right now, a little gloomy as well as we check in on our Key West camera. Thanks to our weather watcher, Marsha Axelrod, for sharing this view of Aventura. She's also reporting mostly cloudy skies, as you can see, trying to find the sunshine here, but starting to peek out there a little bit, uh, right? As we look at the radar, it is active in spots. Not everyone is dealing with the rain, but we have had plenty of rain throughout the night and earlier this morning. Some of the roads are wet. Give yourself extra time and make sure that you hang on to the umbrella as we are going to see the potential for some of these passing showers and even a few thunderstorms have been firing up so far this morning. Right now in Broward County, looking at the rain in Oakland Park here around 95, going to be a little slick. Lauderdale Lakes, Tamarack, Margate, Coral Springs and Sunrise. Everything is moving in off the Atlantic from the south and east to the northwest. So I am going to closely monitor all these thunderstorms that are just off to the east and offshore. Deerfield Beach starting to see some of that rain, but yeah, a lot of lightning with these thunderstorms that are now beginning to push on shore and will continue to slide towards the northwest. Weston, southwest ranches also dealing with the rain. And then in Miami-Dade County, we head south towards Homestead, Princeton, Cutler Bay, and that's where we're seeing some moderate to heavy rain and some lightning close by too. And of course, always a reminder when you hear thunder roar, you want to head inside head indoors. The wind is out of the east right now, about 6 to 15 miles an hour with the breeze will be building throughout the day today. It will be breezy at times and right now tracking tropical storm Ida. This is not a threat for South Florida, but right now it is bringing some heavy rain and gusty winds and the potential for uh, flash flooding across the Cayman Islands and Cuba due to all of that moisture. And as we look at the latest advisory, Ida is moving to the northwest at 15 miles an hour, max sustained winds of 45 miles an hour. It's actually strengthened as the center is passing over the Cayman Islands and forecast to move over western Cuba later today as a tropical storm and hence tropical storm warnings are in place there and for the Cayman Islands and Ida is then expected to move into the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico and will increase in strength becoming a category one hurricane heading into tomorrow and then unfortunately as of this morning the hurricane center is now expecting it'll become a major a category three dangerous hurricane hurricane headed towards the northern Gulf Coast as we head into Sunday afternoon. Right now the center is forecast to move into Louisiana around this area along the North Gulf Coast, though so you'll be seeing the potential for a life threatening storm surge as well as heavy rain and gusty winds and of course hurricane conditions expected and hence a hurricane watch has been issued from the coastal areas of Louisiana through the Mississippi Alabama border and then stretching into the Florida Alabama border a tropical storm watch there. The reason that it's not headed here is because we have this high pressure system that's blocking it and steering it away from South Florida, away from our state and pushing it towards the northern Gulf Coast. So for us today, breezy sun, some quick showers as the future radar showing us the bulk of the action will likely be in the morning where we see these on and off again showers and a few storms. But then in the afternoon, they're carried inland into the West Coast. Small crowds should exercise caution. Choppy on the base, seas three to five tonight. Some spotty showers, warm and humid. So as we Head into the weekend, we'll be watching Ida moving off to our west into the Gulf. We'll see a mix of sun and some spotty storms and highs remaining near normal around 90. 